You're watching an all-new episode of Phantom Investigators on Kids WB. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, otherwise strange content. I'm back with Daniel from the Box Cutter Podcast. We are back on our Phantom Investigator shenanigans. Yep. We don't know which episode we're doing yet today, right? Nope. Okay. The interesting part is that you don't have to watch the show in any order per se. So we just decided for the fun of it, as a blind reaction, we're just going to randomize it using the Google random number generator. Next one is episode three. Phantom investigators. I mean, her parents have Phantom to know because she has all this stuff in her room. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard to hide it. I think she's like Kim Possible, where it's just like, go save the world, honey. So she's the only one without powers, but it's in the family. It's like the family business. Yeah, it's like, I guess that's her power is that she's the one with the gadget. It's like how Donatello is the one without the lethal weapon, but he's the smart one. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, if stop motion didn't take so long, it would I'd see it more often. It's just so gorgeous. Yeah, I really have grown to respect it like as a uh, art form because it does take so much work. Somebody here ordered 12 double sausage pies? Those aren't 12 pizzas. Hello? And just to add all the detail Hello? to things to make it like hey, look like, oh, that's a door. Oh, Come that's on. the doorknob. Stop. Come on. Hey, stop goofing around. See, when I did food delivery, we were told never to cross the threshold for this exact reason. True. Not because it might be a haunted house, but it just might be a dangerous situation. <laughs> And I think it's important to fund arts programs in school because without classes like band and a uh, choir, a flashback to when I first started YouTube. Um, uh, um. Oh, same. So nervous to post my first video, and now I'm like, eh. You would be expected to cite an expert source. I did I've take a debate class. Right here. You need to have your sources. If this were a real debate, not just an audition for the team, like debate team is that popular you gotta audition for it so how's the big debate team audition going over <laughs> and that wasn't her fault that was uh what is his name the little wad wad yeah i hate debate too much talking and organization <sighs> Then why try out for the team? Good travel question. They travel to France every year for the international championships. France. France. This is a really well-funded school. It's San Francisco. That is true. I talked to Mr. Carbonara, and he said you could try out again tomorrow, 6 p.m., after practice. Wow, that's great. One condition, though. Of course, there's always a catch. Uh-oh. Clean out your locker, groom your dog, wash your gym clothes? I'm guessing he goes commando. Oh, no. Fabric softener on the gym shorts, please. First off, why does he have his laundry already ready to go? I don't know. It's pre-planning in the worst possible way. Did he know that somebody was that desperate to join debate? Oh, God. Debate uh, tryouts are coming up. Let me get my laundry ready, and I'll bring it to school that day. Fabric softener on the gym shorts, please. Why would she have to put fabric softener on the gym shorts? Because he probably goes, you know, uh, which is nasty. I think I see our client. There's always the delivery guy with the bastard's cap. Yeah. On the phone, you said you were delivering pizza and ran into some ghosts. What's that? Ew. Looks like cheese. Ugh. I like that they all live in beautiful Victorian mansions, too. They're old money. They're, they're ma that's old money how they So their parents must be like, making good money. Yep. Toby thought it would help my chances if I washed the entire debate team's gym clothes. And grooming Todd's dachshund, and scrubbing his bike, and waterproofing his textbooks. Waterproofing textbooks. They must get them new every year. Oh my god. Because we just get hand-me-down textbooks when I was in high school, middle school. It's cheese. Really? Cheese and ectoplasm. Those are anchovies. What's your whole like, a debate on anchovies on pizza? I'm not big on anchovies as, in general, but I'm not wholly against them. How about you? I think they're good by themselves, but not in pizza. Yeah, that's fair. Omega Alpha Pi. Must be an old fraternity house. We got a call to deliver some... Uh, pizzas. As opposed to. It won't open. Ghost just likes pizza. Give him all the pizzas. 
a pizza, pizza demon. Pizza demon. Pizza demon would be a great name for a band. Commercials. They want the pizzas. Well, they can have them. And they stay in a perfectly nice stack. Hmm. Getting ghost level readings on the upper level, but down below, the detector's going nuts. So on her on her Spectre detector, S is for sprites, G is for ghosts, D is for demon, then E is for elementals. Nice. And then that thing, that Jewish thing, um, it it's called a Sephiroth. Research. Like in Kingdom Hearts. But, but I looked it up and I was like, hmm, I don't want to be offensive and say that it's something that has to, but it does come from Jewish folklore, the Sephiroth. And I like how her reader thing gives it in order of power. Like it starts with the least and goes up to the most. <laughs> oh, it's a very old cuckoo clock. Why the cuckoo clock skeletal? I don't know. <laughs> Do you notice anything weird about these guys? Must be hazing. Yes. See. 1960s haircuts, dorky sweaters. They're like old time frat boys. I get made fun of for flipping the pizza around and eating the crust first, but even I do not eat it that crazy. That frat house was closed down back in 1963. Anyone around here know anything about fraternities? No. Considering they're all 12, probably not. <laughs> As a college educated person, I do not. Students at William and Mary College formed a secret club called Phi Beta Kappa, where they could safely gather and debate politics. After the war ended, these fraternities loosened up. Is that really it? I don't know. I was like, is this, is this history? Am I learning history right now? Educational. Edutainment! What do you know about Omega Alpha Pi? Oh, the university shut it down years ago, after a hazing scandal. Okay, PIs, we need to find out why these ghosts are still being hazed after all these years. Imagine reliving your hazing moment as a ghost. That has to be awful. My new Raisinator. It's a tote-sized dehydration pump. Drop in a grate, out pops a raisin. Put in raw meat, beef jerky. Oh. A cheap way of making tur um, jerky and then selling it at a high price. Yes. Capitalism. I've only got an hour before the debate audition. You're leaving? Getting into this club is important. More important than us? Going to France is more important than your well-being. And we want to join. Tell us what to do. She was like, what the hell? Give us our damn pizza. They just want the pizzas. They don't want blood or souls, just the pizzas. All right, everyone calm. Nobody panic. Ah! So how about now? Can we panic now? No, yeah. we still have five minutes. Ah! Oh my, it's the other one that we saw in the other episode. But is it stop motion or is it a guy in a mask? Ooh, good question. Ah! It looks like he's, he's um, you know those chin, the the thing that people do with their chin, where they lay upside down? Looks like that. It does look like that. The name is Matsurathulu. That's great special effects makeup. Ah! Ew. Uh... <laughs> There's no rush. We've got all eternity. <laughs> oh, I guess it's his face, because I can kind of see his nose. Okay. Wow, that's great, Mr. Carbonara. Great, Mr. Carbonara. Want me to waddle around and quack like a duck, Mr. Carbonara? Now I want carbonara pasta. You want to go back in the bag? No! Last time my tush got stuck in the zipper! Mm, that's uncomfortable. Can you believe she actually did our laundry? Right in earshot, so she can hear it, but the, te you know, teacher can, apparently. The teacher just does not care. My friends need me. <laughs> Quick, send Demona a psychic SOS! I can't get into her head. That reminds me of Kurt the Cowardly Dog when they're this psychic that they get to do a media, like a, like a seance. And when she tries to call the dead, you hear just like a dial tone. I need a lift. I'm a bad luck demon. <laughs> the tiny wings. This has got, had that lunchable feel. The commercial from the 90s. Yeah, I remember it. All day, you gotta do what they say. But lunchtime is all yours. That's why there's Lunchables Pizza from Oscar Mayer. Hey, 
You dropped me into the mud. I'm a bad luck demon. What do you expect? You ridiculous homo sapiens with your puny little bodies and your pathetic need to belong. That is our Just greatest weakness, like our need to belong. Servant. Those <laughs> ghosts are your servants? You bet your bean dip. They made a deal. They gave me their souls, and now I control them. Is that how that works? I thought you get go straight down to, you know, down under. I guess it depends on the on the demon species. I wonder what human souls go for on street value in their world. I think the their economic value drops. Yeah. But I think they're in a recession. A demon recession. An economic demonic inflation. Economic demonic is fun to say. <laughs> the hiss. He hissed. Run away. We'll make a deal. A sweet little deep dish of a deal. <laughs> Oh, no, no. We were desperate to wear these fraternity sweaters. On initiation night, we did everything. We swallowed goldfish. Ooh, poor goldfish. And drank tea brewed with our own sweat socks. Ah, uh, so kind of Udis honestly. But we were supposed to eat 10 pizzas in 15 minutes. And we were both lactose intolerant. I feel like if you're willing to drink tea brewed with your own sweat socks, even if you're lactose intolerant, you should be okay with the, the pizza. Well, if they ate the pizza first, then they'd probably have more room. I think that was the trick. They'd make them drink the tea so they could be full, and then they'd have to eat the pizza in 15 minutes. Okay. So, you made a deal with that thing? He said he'd eat the pizzas for us and get us in. Mozzarella. I wish there were some other way. There is. Quit the fraternity. Loophole. Contractual loophole is for the win. But we signed Mozzarathalu's contract. Technically, Omega Alpha Pi closed down years ago. You two are the last members. Huh, <laughs> nerds. Sweaters back on! Get down on the floor and eat your pizza! So that's the same actor that played the judge thing, right? Probably? It has to be. Looks like they were on a budget. It looks like it would be like hard to breathe a little bit. I would hate to have to wear that though because it looks like it's wet. They probably spritzed it down before every take. It's probably the easiest way to do that. Did you know that milk is comprised of 98% water? So what? Your days as a big cheese are over! That's how he got tiny. <laughs> Put me back! I'm tiny! This is embarrassing. What happened to the debate team audition? Blew it off. I figured the PIs are team enough for me. Cooler than the debate team, arguably, being a phantom investigator. True. I think I'd be a phantom investigator over being on the debate team. So you think little shrunken cheese dude will be lonely without the ghosts around? So wait, they're just letting him, they're not capturing him? I guess they're just like, he's rendered powerless, so what's he gonna do? I feel like they should have done something. Put him in the, like the Ghostbusters have the, like, containment unit. Like, put him in something. Yeah, that was a little messy on their part. They're like, eh, we just took his power. They they always carry around that that thing that, that they capture the ghost in. I guess it doesn't work on Demon. But he still, he could always accumulate power. Did they not think about this or like what? I don't know. It must have worked because, like, he... When we see him several episodes later, he's still really tiny, so presumably he never gets his power back. Or are they just, are they just bound to the, to the confines of that house. So as long as that house doesn't get renovated and anybody moves in, it's fine. Yeah, as long as it's, like, made into a parking lot. It's all falling apart. Maybe it's time. Then he would be banished. It was an okay episode. I learned what a fraternity originally was. I did too. I was like, how do I, how, how is this how I'm figuring this out? <laughs> That's why they have those, you know, Greek alphabet things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did always wonder about that. Side note, I like how, what is her name? The brainy redhead girl, the one that was trying to get on debate team. I like how she's... Demona. Demona. I like how Demona is very smart but also she still struggles in school you know like she's not like perfect like all on the debate team like super easy like she still is, has challenges i like that she she's a nerd but she's not like a academics nerd right 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 so she's like nerdy but not for like academics which is a very niche type of nerd that usually doesn't get portrayed as much because in the other episode that we watched um with the cheese monster in it too um she was contemplating whether or not to use the cheat sheet that she was given. So she's a geek. 
a geek? Technically, yes. I remember the old Rhett and Link debate. I think if you're a nerd for more pop culture things, you're technically a geek, not a nerd. Because I thought that nerds were geeks, but really intelligent geeks, and then geeks were nerds without the intelligence. That makes sense. Well, or without the same book smart intelligence, I guess. That's what I mean to say for any people out there who want to be to self-insert and get offended. Yeah, yeah, I know. Geeks are not academically inclined. Nerds are academically inclined. That's the big differentiator. So I feel like I'm a nerd. I feel like I'm a geek for sure. Because, like, I struggled with, like, academic stuff. But, like, I hyperfixate on TV shows like nothing. All right. So we'll leave you guys here. But thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around. I post nonsense all the time. Don't forget to check out the playlist with the other videos that we've done so far in this series if you haven't already. Uh, and remember, my name is Avery. This is Daniel. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye.